What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Get Back Connection where we give excellent assessment and reviews. And in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about Black Panther from the Captain America Civil War. Now, I haven't done my Captain America Civil War spoiler review, which I will be getting to pretty soon. But I want to sit here and talk about one of the best highlights of the film, which happens to be the Black Panther. Now, Chadwick Bosman, who plays uh, T'Challa, I think, to think, think, I think that's how you say his name. I'm stuttering and everything. I think that's how I say his name. He did a great job. This man gave a great performance. Not only was he a likable character and he was understandable, but you actually, like when it came to the emotional moments, you felt, you could see it in his eyes that he was hurting and he was angry. And I really liked that about this character. I liked the fact when he was angry, he did a great job of showcasing that anger. And even with some of the physical aspects of the role, he actually pulled it off. He, all around, was one of the best characters, hands down, of the film. And probably of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. And he's only been in one movie. But I really did like Chadwick Bosman. They picked up, they cast a great actor for this role. This man has been great in all the movies that I've seen him in. And he just does a great job as T'Challa. In terms of the costume design, I think the costume design looked completely awesome it was great i love how form fitting it was but it also had this like tactical look to it too there's one instance in the film where somebody's shooting bullets at him you see the bullets like bouncing off his suit and i'm like that's pretty cool and i like i just love the way that it wasn't like it was it just felt so it when watching him it felt like you actually was watching a panther and i think that's why i think the suit worked it actually looked like like, like, it felt like, I'm not sure how to say it. It actually looked authentic, I want to say. It actually looked like a panther. And not just because he wore the suit, because of how the suit fit the character. Like, where he can withdraw his claws and everything. Uh, the form fitting, how it felt uh, armored. And I, I, I don't know. Just the costume design actually looked pretty cool. I like the fact that it looked more tactical and more modernized. I don't like the whole skin types that's in the comics. I don't like the whole necklace thing. I don't like the whole cape thing. I never liked, that was like one of my biggest turnoffs when it came to his character, but I liked the way the movie portrayed his outfit. Costume design was completely cool. I really did not uh, enjoy his character. As I said before, he was a likable character. You can understand him. He, I like his role in the film because you do have Tony Stark on one end, you have Captain America on one end, uh, another end, and you can see how these two clash. And I liked how, even though he's been brought into this conflict between these two uh, fra uh, factions, you can see that he's kind of like the third party. And I like the fact that he can kind of, that he sees, you know, from both sides. And I like that. I really did like that. He was a third party. He wasn't really as invested in the Avengers as Tony Stark and Steve Rogers is, but it's good that I, his character was like that. And his character was like one of the pivotal points when it came to this film. So I really did appreciate his character and his role, which was done fantastically. Also, another thing that I did like, I loved his fight style. I loved the way he moved. He felt actually like a panther. He was very agile he was his reflexes was on point he showed great good pretty good moments of like like speed and strength and i love that they actually showed and harnessed that energy and put it into this character that was done really well especially the fights between him and bucky he's sitting here just doing his thing the fight between him and captain america the hands down one of the best sequences of the film besides those two fights was this little tunnel chase where he was like running and i was like that's really cool when he landed he landed on like all fours and stuff like that just i love the way they actually focused the, this character they did a great job with him he was a great asset to the movie great pivotal point to the plot he was all around great um i really didn't that was not really anything i didn't i found as a flaw i mean i love the represent uh how they represented wakanda in this film because wakanda is pretty cool and i'm glad that they had a chance to you know somewhat elaborate on it not only between their culture and their people but also a little bit of the setting too which i don't I thought was done really well i would have liked to see a bit more of an exchange between t'challa and his father before you know his father gets killed in the film but uh, you know, to kind of emphasize the pressure of him being a prince of Wakanda as well as his father's relationship upon him. So, you know, I would like to see a little bit more of that, but I'm hoping that this next film of the Black Panther will actually elaborate on that a little bit more. 
But as I said, I was really invested with the character Black Panther. It was really cool. Anyways, guys, in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on Black Panther. Did you like the cast, uh, the casting choice for it as Chadwick Bosman? Did you like the costume design? Did you like the fight style? Did you like his overall character and role in this film? And to the next edition, guys, the Get Breaking Nation. And remember, those gets turned. Thank you.